What's up guys? I had to throw one more video in, but it makes up for yesterday since I didn't post up a video yesterday. So now they're talking about Islam Makachev and Dariush. And I'm excited about that. Uh, Dariush has, uh, I think his record is 21 and four and Islam's is 20 and, and one. They're both really good high-level grapplers, wrestlers. I think Dariush is better on the feet than Islam, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds exciting. That sounds exciting to me. That's a bad matchup for Islam. That's probably the worst matchup for Islam. I think that the second hardest fight for him is going to be Gaethje. I don't know how many people they're going to have Islam up against before they give him a title shot. Habib is really pushing for him to have a title shot like now. But there's many guys that are deserving of the title shot right now. Gaethje being one of them. Dariush is coming up in the ranks. So if they match him against Islam and Dariush beats Islam, then Dariush gets that title fight, not Islam. He has his work cut out for him, if you know what I mean. This fight's pretty exciting. I think that Islam versus Dariush will be an interesting fight. I have no idea who's going to win. I think the betting favorite will be Islam because his record is a little better because he has one loss as opposed to Dariush's four losses. I guess a good thing to do would be to go back and watch Dariush's losses and see why he lost. But he's on such a winning streak that he may have already fixed those holes. I mean, he beat El Kakui, which is good on his feet and the ground, and he ragdolled him around like it wasn't even a challenge. I actually saw that fight live, not live on pay-per-view, but in person. I went to the Toyota Center Arena and watched it live. That was Chandler versus Oliveira. I saw that in person. So that was awesome. If you guys have never been to a UFC promotion, like an actual event, there's you you got to go do it. There's nothing else like that. The tickets were crazy expensive. I spent like $1,000 just on myself and my fiance to go see it. And uh, we we weren't even close. We were like in the upper middle. <laughs> so we were still pretty far away. I still had to pretty much watch the screen to see it, what was going on. I think next time I'm gonna bring binoculars and to, unless I can afford to get closer. But yeah, you guys totally need to go see a UFC event in person. Anyway, back to Dariush and Islam Makachev. That is gonna be a beast fight. I can't wait. Another thing I've been thinking about doing is going live here on YouTube and doing commentary while watching the fight. And what I'll do is I'll put the volume down really low on the TV, watch the fight, and co do commentary on it. So if you guys are watching the fight at the same time, you can do the same thing. You can turn it down. We could discuss it. There's live comments. I could react to it. Or if you don't have it and you can't watch the fight, it'll benefit you because you'll get to hear commentary live of what's happening right now. So if you don't have a way to watch it and you wait till after so you could see the clips on YouTube, instead of doing that, if you want to know live, you can hang out with me, hear the live commentary on what's happening, and then uh, you can watch your clips after. So I just think that that would be cool to do. And it'll be fun to go live, get to interact with some of you uh, live. If you like the content, please subscribe, comment down below, and, and ring the freaking bell.